Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about proportions in triangles. So the first theorem is called the side splitting theorem, kind of a cute name there. All right, and it says if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and the line intersects the other two sides of the triangle, then it divides those two sides proportionally. So what that looks like is if our side ST was parallel to RQ, we have to have parallel sides or parallel one line parallel to a side in order for this to work, then it divides the other two sides proportionally. So SR over SP has to be equal to TQ over TP. So it divides it up proportionally. All right, the converse of that is just the opposite. We know if the line divides the two sides proportionally, then the line has to be parallel. So um, that looks like this. If we have AD over DC is equal to BE, oops, BE over EC. So if we know that that is true, then we can conclude that DE has to be parallel to AB. Parallel to AB. All right, so let's look at a couple examples. Determine if the following satisfy the theorem. And if so, set up a proportion. So part A, the only information we have to know is that the two sides are parallel. So yes, it does satisfy the theorem. And to set up my proportion, I would say that 7 over 10 equals x over 12. And then we'd cross multiply and solve. All right, similarly with B, it's going to be a little different. If you notice, we're given the information that 16 is this whole thing here, which means I want to figure out what this piece is, which would be 16 minus x. So we do want to find those pieces that are missing. So now I can set up my proportion because I have parallel sides. x plus 4 over 12 equals x over 16 minus x for that little piece. And then, of course, cross multiply and divide. All right, so let's look at the next one. What happens if you have two or more lines parallel to the third side? Really cool. The theorem still works. So it's still going to divide it proportionally. 4x over 32 is going to equal 2x over 8x. And we can cross multiply and solve. Uh, what if it's not a triangle at all? Turns out it doesn't matter. We can still set up the same proportion. So 8 plus x over 4 equals 5 plus x over 3. Cross multiply and solve for your x. All right. Let's look at the next one, which is angle bisector proportion theorem, which states if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segments whose lengths are proportional to the segments of the other two sides. Whew. Okay, so we have a ray CD. And what this theorem states is that if the ray bisects the angle of the triangle. So if CD, the ray CD, bisects angle ACB. So we have to know this information there. If it bisects the angle, then I can say that it divides the triangle into segments whose lengths are proportional. So AD over AC would be equal to DB over BC. So it divides the sides proportionally. All right, so let's do this. Set up a proportion to solve for the variable. So for A, we first want to make sure that we have our ray that bisects our angles, which we do. So we're good there. And then we can set up our proportion. 8 over x equals 5 over 9 and cross multiply and solve. Um, next one, <laughs> kind of the same idea, but remember if we're missing any pieces, we need to fill those in first. So if the whole thing is 18, then this piece is going to be the whole thing 18 minus the other portion, which is x. We have our angles bisected, so 10 over x 
equals 12 over 18 minus x. Cross, multiply, and divide. All right, and then here, again, same theorem. We have 4 over 6 equals x over x plus 3. Just make sure you're not mixing and matching. Notice if I started with the top one and I went over here, so first and second, then my next fraction, I have to match it first and second each time. We want to make sure we're really um, keeping everything the same. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.